Hey guys, it's JP Flewellen with the Titan Real Estate team at Real. And today we are gonna talk about the thing that we hate to do, which is paying fees at closing. So what are we gonna talk about? We're gonna talk about what fees, the top 20 fees to expect if it's pertinent to your area at closing. Now stay tuned to the end because I've got one bonus fee that you could call it a fee, it may not be a fee, but it could still affect how much money you're gonna bring to the table, so here we go. So number one is application fee. So your lender, depending on who you're using, could charge an application fee for applying for a loan at that institution. Now, a lot of times they don't charge that up front, but they would probably charge that at closing, so that'd be part of your overall closing costs. Uh, number two is the credit fees. So every lender has um, a way to check your credit and there may be a fee associated with that. So number three is an appraisal. So depending on where you're at in the country, it could cost you anywhere between, you know, uh, five to $600 up to $1,200 for an, for an appraisal. Um, attorney's fees. So that's number four. So attorney's fees could be, um, I've seen a flat fee usually um, around $1,500 um, in addition to all of your other fees with your lender. Uh, number five is discount points. So discount points means that if you are, uh, you know, at a higher interest rate, um, your bank may offer the opportunity to uh, buy down the rate um, and depending on what that is, it, they usually it's like in quarter percentage uh, increments and there may be a fee to buy down the rate or buy down the discount points. Okay, number six is courier fees. Um, personally here, I've not seen that, um, but some places that are super busy, especially uh, title fee, uh, escrow companies that have a lot of physicality to the way that they do business, um, there could be a lot of, um, you know, running around, dropping stuff off at the courthouse, things like that to get things recorded. So there could be some courier fees involved. Um, number seven is uh, PMI. So principal mortgage insurance. So um, you may, depending on the type of loan that you're doing, they, your, your bank may offer the opportunity to prepay all of your mortgage insurance up front. And um, so that's another cost that could be accrued at closing. Uh, number eight is a flood cert. So um, you could see, depending on uh, where you're at, you know, the bank always checks to see if you're in a floodplain. Sometimes those flood maps have been updated. So you want they want to just certify that you're either in or out of a floodplain. Um, Number nine, HOA fees, proration fees. So if you're in an area where you have an HOA um, and there's some HOA fees due, then um, they will add that on as part of your closing costs. Okay, number 10 is uh, origination fees. So some banks have flat fee, some have a percentage, you know, so it just depends on what lending institution you're using, then you would have some origination fees uh, as part of that as well. So, uh, and then you've got title insurance, so that's number 11. Um, so title insurance is usually based off of the purchase price. And so, um, so that's a sliding scale. So depending on what price you pay is the how much insurance you're gonna have, just like anything else you buy. If you buy an expensive car, you pay for you know insurance according to what you paid for the car. Uh, all right, number 12 is pest inspections. Um, so some places have termites, some places require um, other types of inspections, um, you know, in terms of pest control. Um, so that usually is required just as a part of your lending. Um, where we're at, uh, we don't, we're not required to do any kind of, um, you know, termite inspection or anything like that, unless it's new construction in some cases and the loan type. Um, so number 13 is prepaid uh, interest on the loan. So uh, depending on what time of the month that you, you know, close, then you are required to um, pay the prorated interest. And um, that is usually uh, prorated and then um, 
you have an escrow account that's created um so you pay your interest and your insurance and all that out of that escrow account all right number 14 is taxes so depending on where you're from um i know where i'm from we pay taxes in arrears so you're always six months behind when you're paying your taxes i don't know why that is it's just a thing up here uh, but where you're at you may be paying taxes in real time so they just prorate taxes accordingly based on the the day and the month that you um uh close all right number 15 is rate lock fees so right now as the recording of this uh video the the rates are just all over the place right now um going in the wrong direction and uh and so a lot of uh, institutions are really kind of pushing rate locking in your rate uh, especially um, now um, as rates are continuing to climb. So you might have a rate lock fee as, as a result of uh, keeping that lower rate. All right, number 16 is reoccurring, uh, just um, reoccurring fees. Um, so there's like, a, like the recording fee, um, which is a fee that is just the, literally to record the, the deed. Um, and sometimes there's even another other fees around that. Um, but typically, um, that recording fee is, uh, is something that's also assessed at closing. Um, and then there's also a, uh, number 17 is the, um, settlement fee. So there's a fee to create the document that has all the numbers on it so that you can see exactly what you're going to have at closing. Um, and so there's a fee for that, and that could vary depending on what state you're in as well. And number 18 is a survey. Uh, so if you're buying land and let, they don't require you to prepay, so that may be another fee that you're paying um, at the end. Um, <clears throat> and then number 19 is um, something that we don't have in our state, and I know there's still a few states out there that don't have this, uh, which is a transfer tax. Um, and so, um, you know, that's, that's probably the, the, um, uh, you know, deterrent for where you're living. You may want to move out of your state if you have to go pay a transfer tax. Um, so that's no good. And then lastly, number 20 is the VA funding fee, which, um, is not necessarily a closing cost per se, but it is also, uh, but it is a fee that is paid during the length of the loan. So depending on if the VA uh, a VA loan is a good you know a good loan for you, um, you just got to keep that in mind. That is something that you are paying. It's just not um, the you're not paying all that at closing. Um, now some banks may say you know it might be in your best interest to bring some money to the table so that you can defer the negative e equity position. Uh, that it puts you in because if your house is let's say it's three hundred thousand and you have a two and a half percent funding fee, well now you got to add the two and a half percent on top of the purchase price. Um, so depending on where you're at, if your market's really volatile, you know, and you need to sell at a not so opportune time, then you may be stuck with negative equity at closing. So something to think about. And then the bonus fee, uh, if you're a seller, if you made it through all this and you're going to buy and you're going to sell. Uh, commissions is actually not a closing cost. It's just something that's negotiated with the sale of the home. It's, it's not a closing cost. It's just, it's commissions and it stands all by itself. So I hope that was educational. Hope that helps. Um, so use this information, make decisions based off of that, do your own research, but, uh, you know, there you have it. Those are your fees. All right. Well, Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.